Hello, my name is Sam Feltman and welcome to day number 17 of the 21 day fake food rehab challenge. So I've got a really busy day ahead of me, lots of emails to get back to, I think I've got about 40 emails in my inbox at the moment, so much going on, uh, so I have to be quick, but just before we get into all of the measurements, uh, I just want to give a big shout out to Dr. Haseem Maholtra, leading cardiologist who wrote an article for the BMJ, previously known as the British Medical Journal, um, on saturated fat and the, the whole saturated fat and heart disease link is pretty much a myth. So if you want to check out that article, head over to smashthefat.com forward slash sat fat uh, and then you can read the original article there. It was distributed all across the world uh, on BBC website, Daily Mail website, uh, CNN, LA Times, all across the globe. Uh, it's real big news. So uh, if you did miss it, I recommend reading the original article in the BMJ and also I highly recommend that you follow Dr. Asim Maholtra on Twitter at Dr. Asim Maholtra. Cool guys, well let's get into today's measurements. So last night I weighed myself in, I was 90.9 kilograms, uh, giving you a mean for day number 16 of 90.8 kilograms which is minus 5.2 Kilograms, so really starting to get there now. Um, and then around my waist, that was 82.5 centimeters, giving me a mean for day number 16 of 82 centimeters, which is minus 6.25 centimeters. Cool, so let's see what's going on today. Cool. 90.4, 90.4, which is 300 grams down from yesterday. And then let's see what's going on on the face. So 81 centimetres, 81 centimetres, um, which is down half a centimetre from yesterday, but the same as previous days before then. So I only have about four more days to go. Seriously looking forward to um, eating some different things because uh, it is getting really repetitive now. I'm looking to bringing a lot more variation to my diet. Then also, I'm gonna be hopefully getting my final conclusion together by the end of next week, so in about a week's time. Um, so make sure that you look out for that. That'll have my full blood profile results as well as my bod pod results before and after the carb challenge and after the rehab challenge as well cool guys well until tomorrow be well and of course smash it out oh yeah and if you missed it yesterday make sure that you check out the thor video from yesterday here's a quick clip first up thor looking like war competition go crazy leicester square and give it up for sam up here sam Make some noise for Sam! Behind Sam, we have Tim! Hello, my name is Sam Felton, founder of Smash the Fat, and welcome to another expert interview with me. Um, and today I'm very, very happy to introduce to you uh, Dr. Haseem Maholtra, cardiologist and writer. How are you doing, Dr. Maholtra? Hi Sam, I'm very well, thank you. Fantastic. So the question is, how is sugar killing us? Well, first of all, Sam, let's give a bit of background perspective of why we, where we are, and why we are um, at this point. Mm -hmm. This is 
we have, we are facing one of the biggest threats to our health uh, in in recent history. We have a problem with obesity. We have sixty uh, percent of the UK adult population overweight or obese. Even of gr- even greater concern, one in three children now by the time they leave primary school are also overweight or obese. And this is a public health crisis. I would call it a public health scandal. How have we allowed this to happen? And when when I got involved in this, and, and clearly as somebody as a cardiologist that uh, treats people on a daily basis with heart disease, and heart disease is the biggest killer in the Western world, uh, one of the things is uh, we need to look into the root cause of the obesity problem. And within all of that, you know, after uh, lots of uh, discussions, after reviewing evidence, looking at data, you know, one thing that we have discovered, um, and I think it's uh, pretty much accepted um, within the community, to some degree, is that there has definitely been an overconsumption of sugar based and sugar in particular. And the reason that sugar is, is considered to be one of the main culprits in the obesity epidemic is because of fructose. And as you've already mentioned, Dr. Robert Lustig has done a lot of research in this area, mm-hmm. a pediatrician over in San Francisco. And it is felt that the biochemically we know that fructose is, is harmful because it uh, contributes to fatty liver disease. It also causes high blood pressure and probably most importantly is strongly implicated both biochemically through insulin resistance and even through population studies in uh, increasing the risk significantly of developing type 2 diabetes. So all of these different um, conditions, if you like, are associated with obesity. And obesity, from, in, my, from, in my view, is, is just a marker of a much bigger problem. Yeah. And the reason I say that is that uh, obesity uh, increases the risk of what we call the metabolic syndrome. Uh, yeah. Metabolic syndrome, very briefly, is uh, an accumulation or a, an amalgamation of the conditions of high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, fatty liver disease, high triglycerides. Um, but also, uh, what we do know is that 40% of people who suffer from the metabolic sy- syndrome have a normal body mass index. So w- what I'm trying to say is that the obesity issue is just the tip of the iceberg of how processed foods, mm-hmm. uh, and when I say processed foods, a lot of these foods have excess sugars in them, um, have uh, overwhelmed our, our, our diets really, and we're, we're consuming a lot of excess calories through sugar mm-hmm. in particular, which I believe is, is the main culprit in the obesity problem.